On March 9, 2012, the Maddy Group engineering firm in Montreal, Quebec, installed an innovative bridge structure providing vital access connections to residents of the city of Brossard. This fast-developing residential neighborhood is the site of Maddy Group's new all-aluminum pedestrian and bicycle bridge. Residents will use the bridge to navigate across the Daigneau Ditch to cross from the new housing development to Grand Allee Boulevard with access to a mass transit bus stop and Brossard's local shops, parks and amenities. Weighing around 42,000 pounds, this aluminum pony truss style bridge is 145 feet long by 12 feet clear width. The 54 inch high horizontal rails will serve as secure guardrails along the bridge's sides. Brossard's new aluminum bridge is now the longest footbridge of its kind in Canada, almost the same size as an Airbus A321 airplane. After extensive planning and logistics preparations, the bridge was then carefully hoisted onto a two-part truck called a steering dolly. During the transport to the installation site, a special escort caravan accompanied the Maddy Group bridge en route from the fabrication shop to its new home in Brossard. To help the steering dolly through sharp turns, an escort vehicle driver guides the back of the end of the truck via a remote control. While the bridge is being transported to the job site, a 350-ton crane will be installed on site where workers wait for the bridge to arrive. The crane will use four semi-trailers weighing about 55,000 pounds, each for counterweight. When the bridge arrives, it is carefully unloaded and positioned onto its foundations. Workers then complete the final stage of installation by anchoring the bridge onto its foundation. A team of just four workers accomplished the main installation in less than one day. Maddy Group's corrosion-free aluminum bridges are expected to last for many decades through all types of weather conditions. Over their lifespan, the aluminum bridges have virtually no maintenance cost and will retain a very high resale value when they reach the end of their life and are recycled.